Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. So recently I was watching The Corpse Bride again as a lot of you would know because I was actually watching it just before I filmed my How Everyone Died in the Nightmare Before Christmas video and I accidentally called Sally Emily. But anyway, I was watching The Corpse Bride for like the millionth time and I realized that we never really learn a lot about Lord Barkus. We are only really told what we see in the movie, but we never learn much about him himself. So today I am dedicating this entire video to finding out who Lord Barkus really is. So we all know Barkus Bidden, aka Lord Barkus, as a very evil man who killed Emily and stole her family's jewels and a bag of gold off her, and then planned to do the same to Victoria. So we know him as a very evil, manipulative man who was just so selfish and just disgusting. Who in the end ends up getting what is coming for him because all of the undead people torture him, or we believe that they torture him. It's never actually stated what they do to him, but it's alluded to that the undead torture him for harming Emily and then for attempting to harm Victoria. So The Corpse Bride is actually based off a Russian folk tale called The Finger, but Lord Barkus isn't in this original story. Actually, a lot of the characters aren't. There's only, the only people that are in this original story are Emily, Victor, and Victor's friend who isn't in the film, unfortunately. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is Lord Barkus isn't in the original story, so we don't get any background on him really anywhere. But what we do know is that he killed Emily for her family jewels and sack of gold approximately seven to eight years before the corpse bride begins. We know this because that is how long Emily has been underground waiting for her lover. So he stole all of Emily's family jewels and a sack of gold and this would have lasted him a long time. Like back in, back in the day when this movie was set, that would have lasted you quite some time. So it's likely that once this money ran out, he has then returned to this town because he knows that there are in fact some really wealthy people living there and he knows that his plan has worked once before in this town so it's likely to work again. So when he returns to the town, he happens to be very lucky to hear the town crier calling, hoo -yee, hoo -yee. the wedding rehearsal will start in 10 minutes. And from here he obviously sees it as his opportunity to gain his riches again and put his plan that has worked once before on Emily into action. So that's everything we know so far on Lord Barkus, apart from the fact that we do know he is considered to be an aristocrat and a lord. This is extremely important to his background because to be considered a lord or an aristocrat you have to be a man of high office, power or a nobleman and he would not gain this high office or power just from killing Emily and taking her riches. Although it would have been a lot of money, it wouldn't have been enough to establish him as an aristocrat or a lord. However, if he had married and killed multiple women in the past and stolen their family heirlooms, this would lead to him having enough riches to be considered a lord and an aristocrat. So this is the first piece of information about Barkus's past. He has not only just killed Emily and attempted to kill Victoria for their money, he has married and killed multiple women throughout his life for their family heirlooms. And this would make sense because we already know that he's a con man and he seemed to very easily kill Emily and was pretty keen to do it again with Victoria with ease. And according to Tim Burton, Lord Barkus is 41 years old, which first of all, I'm pretty sure Victoria and Emily are not that old, which makes it so gross. I know it was a thing back then, but it just grosses me out. Anyway, personal opinion. But yes, he's 41 years old, so he has had quite some time to marry lots of different women and kill them all for their family heirlooms, which all makes sense. And this not only explains how he acquired the title of Lord and Aristocrat, but it also explains why when the land of the undead enters the land of the living, and they all come into the dining room. This explains why Lord Barkus is so afraid. Like, obviously everyone in the scene is very afraid, but Lord Barkus takes it to the next level, pushing Victoria out of his way and crawling underneath the table to hide and shake. He is not just hiding from Emily. He is in fact hiding from all of the women, his brides, that he has killed for their money. So this is the recent background to Lord Barkus, but who is he apart from a money-hungry murderer? Well, similar to the Everglots in the corpse spread, Barkus seems to have a problem with, I'm gonna say this word wrong, but you know what I mean, the nouveau riche, <laughs> which means the new money. And so in the world of rich people that's considered to be old money and new money. New money is people that have just come into their money. For example, 
PewDiePie would be considered new money because he's just come into the money whereas old money is consi is people who they have their families have been rich for generations and they're constantly passing down the money to the next generation to generation. Now the old money hates the new money because they consider them to be bad because it hasn't been handed down through their generations. And this is evident through the film as the Everglades hate Victor's parents because they are the nouveau riche. They have just come into the money through their fish business. Whereas the Everglades have had a rich family for so long that the money just gets handed down generation after generation. So, Barkus also holds his nose up against the nouveau riche in the film, which would make you think that he must come from old money, right? Wrong. If Barkus had come from the old money, even if it was from out of town, the Everglots would have recognised him, and we know that they don't, so it just doesn't work. All of the old money families in the area know each other because there's not many of them left. And obviously Barkus isn't a part of the nouveau riche because otherwise he wouldn't hate them so much. And he also wouldn't need to go around killing his wives for their family's money. So Barkus is therefore just a common man, like an ordinary person with an ordinary amount of money. So he just has an ordinary, normal amount of money, just like most people. And he is obviously from out of town, as no one recognises him. As for Witchtown, this is extremely difficult to find out because in typical Tim Burton style, he's so mysterious and doesn't give much away on where everything's set and who the characters really are. So it's never stated where the Corpse Bride is set. So since this is a Tim Burton movie, Tim Burton likes to base a lot of the stories off his own personal experience. Not the plots, but more like where the movie's set and who the people are. So since Tim Burton is from America, a lot of people are saying that the Corpse Bride is likely to be set in America, but what part of America is unknown. So where in America is unknown, but what we do know is that Barkas would be from the next town over because it's back in the 1800s, so people didn't really travel far, especially if they're going around killing people for their family heirlooms, they tend to stay to towns that they know would have money. So therefore, he lives in the next town over. As for his family, he doesn't have any. He is 41 years old as we know, so therefore back in this day his parents would have become part of the undead. And as we know, he hasn't created a family of his own apart from his multiple uh, wives that are now dead. But so Lord Barkus is just a lonely poor man just trying to make his way in the world, which is actually really sad when you think about it until you remember who he is and what he did. And then it's no longer sad and yeah. <laughs> And that is everything that we know about Lord Barkus. I know there's not a heap of information, but this is literally all that the internet has. This is all of it, just in one confined space so that you guys can tell who Lord Barkus is. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single week. And if you want to see more of my face, I'm also on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. The links are down below and on the screen right now. And I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye. I have been watching Miranda Sings literally all day, so if I say her voice a lot in this video, I apologize, but it's very hard not to. On my hair. See, it's the Miranda voice. I can't stop. It's so much fun. When I saw her during the week, I couldn't stop doing it, and I was so scared. I was gonna say it when I met her. Nouveau riche, rich, nouveau rich, nouveau, nouveau rich. Crap, I don't know. I just had a perfect angle, and my camera fell. Woohoo! Love when that happens. However, no, okay. <laughs>